Ringing in the new year with a glass of sparkling wine is a popular tradition in many places, but nowhere more so than in Germany. And that means business for vintners like Regina Menga Krug, whose family has been making bubbly for eight generations in Deidesheim in southwestern Germany. What does she think is important to becoming a successful vintner? You have to give into nature to a certain extent. Always go out, no matter what the weather. Regina Menga Krug puts her trust in Mother Nature. Roses and more than a hundred different herbs help fertilize the soil. Pesticides are strictly taboo. She believes that if the grapes don't do well in the vineyard, modern technology can't help them much either. Good wine growing sites are always a bit finicky. They're like divas. You have to take the wines as they come. And you have to realize that at the beginning they can still be a little restless, maybe from fermentation, but that eventually calms down. They just need a little more time. They need tender love and care, the way we women like it, right? Riesling, Chardonnay, Pinot Blanc, Pinot Noir, the fine white wines maturing in these barrels will later become sparkling wine. Regina Menga Krug's secret is her moon wood barrels, made from trees felled as the moon was waning. The famous violin maker Stradivari swore by moon wood too. The wood is fine poured. These barrels are like a cradle for the wine. It's astonishing. Everyone is amazed by how it works. A great deal of love and patience goes into each bottle. The Menga Krug winery makes sparkling wine the classic French way, like champagne. The wine ferments with yeast in the bottle for nine months to two years. Then the yeast is removed. This bottle of wine has been fermenting for more than 30 years and is still drinkable. It's also fascinating that as long as the yeast remains in the wine, the sparkling wine doesn't age. The yeast is like a fountain of youth. The 500-year-old winery is a traditional family operation. I was very lucky with my parents because they raised me simply as a person and not as a girl. It was a gender-neutral upbringing. I was taught that I could achieve whatever I wanted. The number of women vintners is on the rise, but three generations is a rarity. Regina Menga Krug's 92-year-old mother is still involved, and soon daughter Marie will take over. I won't be changing much because my parents have done a great job. Some people I studied with have had conflicts with the older generation, and that can get in the way. But my parents have stayed young and fit. They'll be happy to work another 50 years. Practical knowledge passed down generations and attention to nature. Those are the secrets of the success of Regina Menga Krug's outstanding sparkling wines. <laughs>